I'm not gonna lie, I have something that keeps bumping around in my head as okay, I sit here and, and talk to you. you and it just Elba. Yeah. You kinda spoke on it, yeah. but you didn't quite elaborate on it. And was it maybe I should call? Was that about him? Yes, and I didn't go into details about it because out of respect for him. I thought it was disgusting, the backlash that I got from black women. Mm. My whole career, the women that I fight for have been the women that attack me. And it's crazy because when I told about my abuse, black women attacked me mm -hmm. and they said I was a liar and then when the reports came out oh I always believed you that doesn't heal that scar that you called me a liar for two years and I'm trying to be a role model so when it got to Idris I'm once again we probably would still even be close friends but I came out it wasn't for no album sales because I write about every man I date mm. and he knew that he even said that to me in my face you write about every man. I say, yeah, I'm going to write about you, too. You determine this song. Ooh. You determine if it's good. You determine if it's bad. Mm -hmm. We parted on mutual terms. So I never have bashed him, mm -hmm. and I never will. When I told, well, not even told, when I sang about what it was, mm -hmm. it was black women. They were, you know, what were they saying? They were, saying they that were you... adding him and was like, you, uh, she's not good enough for you. Ooh. It was bad. It was like, ugh, he would never, ugh. Why are you dating someone like that? Do you not know? Look, I'm a very educated woman. You don't know how I am behind closed doors. You don't know that through everything with this man, through his father passing, I was there. I was the woman. I was strong. I didn't know. I, I wasn't breaking up a home. I didn't know about that or anything. But instead of women being like, wow, our idol, you know, this man we put on this pedestal is human. Mm -hmm they automatically, of course, as always, attack the woman yeah. and said, oh, you're a homewrecker. Oh, you, you're lying. This never happened. Like, I lied about an eight-month relationship. relationship. You but know, one of the finest men on earth. Okay. Oh, my God, I had to get that out. I mean, I mean, literally, Idris is, like, so, like, fine. But he's normal to me. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of like... Once you I get to know someone, they become... Yeah, I don't regular. see that. I just see... That was one of my best friends, and mm -hmm. I see that, mm -hmm. you know, so they be like, ah! Instead, I'm like, he have the same issues as every other man. And was like, the sex amazing? Oh, you were good. You were on your way to be an Oprah. How do you handle all that ass? I want to know, how do you handle all that ass? You know, he, if the sex was good, that means he could. No, it, that was, it? I, I, it was it was great sex, I think, because of the he passion. He like quarterback? No! <laughs> I think it was the pa I think the passion of the friendship. Okay. More than anything, me, I'm really mental with sex. Like I'm really mm -hmm. mental. Like you could have like a big dingling or something, and mm -hmm. it still doesn't. Like. So yeah. he had a big dingling. What'd you say? No, I said you could. Say what now? I said you could. <laughs> you could have this. Or you could have that. I just kind of. It has to be here. Do you think it's any here. hope that you could potentially get back with him? No, 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 no. It's I done. think that was God showing me to get away from basketball players and you needed a grown man. Okay. I think there was a season and a reason for okay. that. And I dated the same type of man. And I never... And expected a different result. Yeah, and I never okay. would have dated a man. Like, I told him he had... His pants was too tight and his accent was funny. And I said that to him. I never... <laughs> no, I never... No, I uh -huh. wasn't... Women went crazy, yeah. but I wasn't attracted. I right. wasn't... I was like, oh, this is this big actor. Oh, ah, whatever. Mm -hmm. But... Just the demeanor of how a man is supposed to handle a woman and not like a basketball player dribbling a woman like a ball. Right. That showed me, and I think that was the purpose. And I think that album, Anybody Want to Buy a Heart, it was the purpose. Everything has a reason, a season, and a purpose, and a time.